Hello and welcome to the Café Rondin Journal Watch. This time we focus on the Fleischner Society guidelines for imaging COVID patients. Now we are all facing this question, when do we perform imaging for COVID-19 patients? And equally importantly, when do we need to perform a CT rather than a chest x-ray for a COVID-19 patient? Now ACR has a set of guidelines. It has said that CT should not be used as a screening tool nor as a first line test for diagnosing COVID-19. It should be used only in symptomatic hospitalized patients with specific clinical indications. Now, when I first saw the ACR guidelines, this was probably the shortest set of guidelines I've ever seen coming from ACR. Later on, the ACR updated guidelines to say that locally constrained resources may be a factor in decision making and acknowledging that some medical practices perform CT chess to make informed decisions on patient management, particularly where widespread COVID testing is not available. On the other hand, the Fleischner Society guidelines, which came on later on, are much more comprehensive. This is because they include not just radiologists, but also a lot of pulmonologists, intensivists, pathologists, infection control people, etc., etc. And these include individuals from nine of the 15 countries with the highest number of COVID-19 cases. So America, France, Italy, China, Spain, etc. So clearly these are people who are at the battle zones and who have seen how things actually function. Uh, so these are more practical guidelines and the two main things coming out of them for me number one is that baseline imaging is important baseline imaging in any patient whom the doctor fears to worsen in the future is extremely important because firstly obviously it gives them an idea about the baseline clinical status and of the lungs but also uh, in if the patient worsens in the future they have something to compare the imaging with second important thing is that Imaging worsening patients is important. So whenever a patient worsens clinically, the doctor will want an imaging in order to rule out some other condition which can be treated like pulmonary embolism. So remember these two rules. Now what did Fleischner Society do? They created three scenarios, very practical scenarios and told us what to do in these scenarios. So scenario one is a patient with mild features of COVID-19 and this is in a setting where there are no significant resource constraints. What that means is that we have enough PPE, we have enough CTs, X-rays, we have enough ICU beds, ventilators, etc. etc. And this is something which applies to India right now. In this case, what should we do? This is a complicated chart, but focus on the red. So if the COVID-19 test is negative, we should not perform imaging. Just monitor the patient for symptoms. If the symptoms worsen, then imaging is indicated. On the other hand, if the COVID-19 test is positive, but again, it's a mildly symptomatic or asymptomatic patient, then we do not perform in the imaging unless there are risk factors for disease progression. And these risk factors would be something like old age, uncontrolled diabetes, hypertension, etc. And are left to the judgment of the referring physician. So in, in presence of these risk factors, a baseline imaging is indicated. So this is scenario one. What about scenario two? Now the same setting, no significant resource constraints, but now the patient has moderate to severe features consistent with COVID-19. So probably someone who's breathless, low SpO2. In this case, what does the society say? It says you have to do imaging in irrespective of the COVID-19 tests. Why so? If the test is positive, you need to image the patient again as a baseline. And then if the uh, respiratory sudden worsens, you need to image him again. On the other hand, if the test is negative, you still need to admit the patient to figure out what the actual diagnosis is. So irrespective of the test being positive or negative, such a person needs to be imaged. Now this is the third scenario. Again, a patient with moderate to severe features, but now instead of being in India, you have been transposed to Italy or New York or Wuhan, where there is a patient triaging required because we don't have enough resources and we don't have enough ventilators, beds, PP, etc., etc. So in this setting, what do we do? Um, what Fleischner said is, firstly, uh, is rapid COVID test available? If it's not available, as is the case in India, we must image the patient right away. And uh, it doesn't say what imaging to do. It could be X-ray or CT, as you have noticed across all these scenarios. But uh, the imaging will help triage the patient. If we see classic COVID findings, then we know what to do with the patient. If we see something atypical, we know what to do with the patient. On the other hand, if we have a rapid COVID test and that test is positive, then again, we need to perform baseline imaging, but then a chest X-ray is preferred or may be preferred. So this is the only time actually the society actually tells us what is preferred, X-ray over CT in this case. Everywhere else, it leaves the decision to us. 
So a baseline imaging is recommended here and then of course if the respiratory status worsens then further imaging is indicated. So amongst all these scenarios I think this is the one where CT would probably have a major role. Luckily we are not in this scenario right now in India. But so when we glean all the information when do we really need to do a CT? Almost never in mild cases. Rarely in moderate to severe cases when do we really need to do it in moderate to severe cases if it's scenario 3 is what I think. And uh, it may be needed in worsening symptoms because that is a time when the doctor might want to rule out something like pulmonary embolism etc. Or sometimes it may be needed if the patient is PCR negative but uh, highly clinically suspect to have COVID-19 because of probably history of contact or something like that. It is certainly not to be used for screening. Both ACR and Fleischner recommend against it. And one more thing Fleischner says is that it is indicated if a patient who is recovered from COVID-19 discharged comes back with functional impairment or hypoxemia. This is a time you want to rule out residual disease versus some sequelae of COVID-19 like fibrosis etc. So overall this is a nice summary of the recommendations. The main recommendations are that imaging is not routinely indicated in asymptomatic individuals. Imaging is not indicated for patients with mild features of COVID-19 unless there is risk of disease progression. Imaging is indicated for patients with moderate to severe features irrespective of the COVID-19 test results. Imaging is indicated for patients with COVID-19 and having worsening respiratory status. And in a resource constrained environment, uh, we could do a chest x-ray instead of a CT if it's a, uh, a patient who has moderate to severe symptoms. Uh, what are the additional recommendations? Daily chest radiographs are not indicated in stable intubated patients. CT is indicated in patients with functional impairment or hypoxemia. We just discussed that. And finally, COVID-19 testing is indicated in patients incidentally found to have findings register of COVID-19 or CT. So these are the guidelines. Take a screenshot of this image perhaps and hopefully they will help you uh, in the future. Of course, things are evolving rapidly. So we need to keep ourselves updated. Be prepared and be safe. Thank you for listening to this video.